Hey YouTube, how's everybody doing today? Hope you're having a great weekend. Uh, mine just started. I don't know how your starts, whether it's Saturday, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, <clears throat> whatever your weekend is, I hope it's going good. And I just have a little unboxing for you today, but it's not quite my typical unboxing. It's more of an unbagging. This morning I went to a coral frag uh, swap over at uh, Odium that's uh, near me in uh, Villa Park there. And uh, I enjoyed walking around and seeing all the different frag, coral frags that were available and price, price ranges and everything. It was pretty crazy. And it's not really a swap because I didn't see anyone else bringing coral fragments to swap with other people and such. It was more of just a buying experience looking around and fi you know, finding what you need for your tank. So I picked up a few for my tank today and I got them right here in this little bag and I'll show you how I acclimate them when I add them to my tank. Uh, first off, I have a bag of snails here. These are the little Astria snails. They're pretty small. I don't know if you can see them in there. I picked up uh, 10 of those, so I'm going to be adding those to the tank. And then uh, also, sorry for the noise, I didn't realize. I got a little coral here. If you can see it sitting there. Once it gets in the tank, I'll show you a little bit better. And then I got two other ones here. That, uh, they're all closed up right now because once you pull them out of the water and transport them and stuff, they tend to close up. So we're going to get those set up and I'm leaking all over on that one. Didn't get the camera, so that's a good thing. But uh, let me go ahead and get these started for you. Or, uh, I'll show you how I get them acclimated to my tank. I'll set them up in there and hopefully they'll open up within a decent amount of time and I can show you what they look like in there. So let's get started. So now this is what my tank currently looks like when it's in full bloom in the daytime. Uh, everybody's taking up their space that they usually do. Got my zennias, my coricordia. Everything's opening up good. So I'm gonna have to find some new spots. I got some new uh, clovers, I believe, that are growing on that rock. And I also picked up one of those today to add into it. So let me just show you the other side here. My whip isn't doing as good as I thought. It's only got a few uh, things extended there. Uh, but hopefully that will come around as the water quality uh, gets better and better for it. I'm going to be doing a water change later today too. But let me go ahead and I'll show you. First of all, what I'm going to do is pop off the top. I've had a few fish uh, jump out and commit suicide on me. So I put a little egg crate or light crate above this tank to keep everybody in. So the first thing I'm going to do, and I usually do this for all my stuff, is just uh, float them in there. There doesn't seem to be too much air in this guy, so I'm going to have to just let it sit there. Is it going to sink? It's probably going to sink. Okay, he's floating through. And then I'll put the snails in, get them floating. That way the uh, water temperatures kind of acclimate to each other. And there's no problems as far as that. So he's staying pretty standard there. Getting blown around by the pump. This guy might be a little... Actually, he floats the best because he's got the most air in it. So let me go ahead and just leave those sit for a while. And I'll be back in a few. Okay, so they've been sitting in there maybe 10-15 minutes. Water temperature's adjusted. And what I did was go ahead and open up each bag uh, to let air in. I mean, it's coral, they don't need a lot of air, like uh, the fish do. But I also introduced some of my tank water into the bag of uh, the coral to acclimate the salinity and some, some other factors in the uh, minerals and everything. And then with the smaller ones, I had to put them in this tub because the bags that they came in were just too thin to be able to open them up like I did with the snails and just float the bag in. So I got some of my water in there and then the water that came with them in the bags in there and I'm just going to let that sit for a little bit so they can acclimate to the salinity and further to the water temperature. I'm trying to keep them out of direct light. The light is lower than it usually is at the mid-peak day. I turned down the lights a little. And then we're just going to go ahead and introduce them into the tank once they get acclimated to this situation. Probably another 10-15 minutes. And then we'll go from there. So hold on. 
time and we'll see you soon. All right, I, take, I took two of them out of the uh, floating box there. The snails are still in their bag. But I placed one of them right down here. You can see him. Uh, he came off the plug, uh, the frag plug that it, he was on, so that's okay. I wanted him to attach to the rock anyway. So I got him right there, and then I got the other one, if you can see it. He's right there, just below that crevice. And he was on a rock anyway, so I didn't have to worry about a, a plug or anything to take him off of. But that's where he's sitting. And then the other one is down here. And as they adjust to the light, I'll raise them either up into the tank or maybe even have to lower the taller one down more level to uh, an even level of light. But uh, we'll have to see how they go in the next few days. So let me go ahead and uh, get this guy. He's still on the plug, so I'm going to have to find a spot for him. Probably be over here. So let's go ahead and get him out of there and place him in. Alright, so we got a little spot for him right there. He's on the side of the uh, coral rock there, the live rock. And uh, the fish are kind of interested in seeing on what's going on. So I got these uh, 10 snails I'm going to disperse in there. What I typically do is take them out of the water that they're in. I just don't dump it in there because I don't like to introduce other people's water directly into my tank. That's why I acclimate it with my own water in the bucket or actually in the bag as it floats in the bag. And then uh, once I'm ready to introduce the coral or the snails, I just pull them from the bag real quick and into my tank. So they've uh, acclimated to the temperature and to the salinity and other minerals and stuff that need to be acclimated for that purpose. So let me go ahead and start putting those in and we'll get back. There you go, I got them in there, situated on the side there. Got a couple up on top there, got a few over here on the side. I'm gonna keep an eye on them to make sure they uh, adjust okay and don't flip over on me. These are Astra snails, or Astra snails, so they uh, don't flip over as easily, and if they do, they're able to uh, upright themselves pretty quick. So let's uh, just go ahead and we'll Watch those go. And it looks like this one's already taking hold of the rock, so he's doing good. Sometimes they come out quickly. This one's already moving on the sand. So he should be okay. So that looks pretty good. So that's this quick little update on me adding some frags that I picked up today at the uh, swap meet. Uh, like I said, it wasn't really swapping of corals and stuff like that. It was more of just uh, people bringing in frags that they uh, were able to take from their tanks and bring on in for uh, selling and everything. I may be doing that in the future, so uh, hopefully you'll stay tuned and watch me do that. And I will see you next time. Hope you enjoyed this one. And if you did, don't forget to like and subscribe down below for future fish ones, electronic ones. I'm going to hit every kind of uh, subject that I'm interested in. Hopefully you will too. So have a good day guys and I'll catch you next time. Thanks.